Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Y'all, I don't know what it is about summertime and grilling season, but it gets me to craving some good old barbecue chicken. So that's what I'm gonna cook today. This is kind of old fashioned style. We're gonna get it over some hot coals, caramelize some sauce on it at the end, and I know it's gonna be good. It takes me back. Let's get to cooking, y'all. I got me an eight piece snack right here. You could use any parts of chicken you want. This is pretty much just a whole chicken cut up. Two breasts, legs, thighs, and wings. Now, I wanna get some flavor on it first, so I'm gonna make a barbecue brine. This, the brine is a great way to get some flavor in some poultry like this. I'm using some fresh lemon juice, a bottle of Wickers, that's just a barbecue marinade, vinegar, water, spices. To keep it that brine element, I'm using some of my bird brine and some hot barbecue rub in some water. We're gonna whisk that up and we're gonna dump it all over that chicken. So we've got all this flavor going on and now this chicken's gonna soak it up in just about two hours. So stick it in the refrigerator and just leave it alone. Now, when you're ready to pull that chicken out of the brine, you wanna set up a little rack system so that excess moisture can drip off. I just got a baking sheet with some foil on it and one of these little raised racks, I call them pork racks, but they're great for letting this chicken dry out. Now, after it's set on the rack for about 30 minutes, kind of at room temperature, the moisture is kind of dried up on it. And you can really tell the meat has changed. It soaked up a lot of those flavors from that brine. Now I'm gonna get it spread open here, kind of turned on the meat side, skin down, and I'm gonna get the seasoning. Now for barbecue chicken, you could use whatever seasoning you like. I got my hot rub since we used it in the brine, but this ain't no right or wrong way. It's kind of up to you how you wanna flavor this chicken. And if you don't wanna use these eight pieces, you could use any piece of chicken. You wanna do all wings, leg quarters, but this reminds me of those family reunions, those big Memorial Day, 4th of July picnics. We always had some barbecue chicken going down. So once you get a good coat on it, we're just gonna flip it over to the skin side and do the same thing, y'all. So once I got that seasoning all over everything, I'm gonna take my thighs and kind of just bunch them up a little bit. I want them to sit pretty when they're on the grill, but just take that skin and kind of tuck those edges down, make little pillows with it. That's a juicy looking thigh. I'm gonna hit them just where I touched them with a little more rub on that skin. Now we're ready to fire up a grill. So now to cook this chicken today, I'm gonna use a two zone setup in my Primo ceramic grill. Now you can cook chicken on any kind of grill. I don't care if you got a drum turned sideways, it'll cook some fire chicken. But you want that two zone cooking. Hot coals on one side, cool zone on the opposite side. So you got a safe place and we can start that chicken out on the cool side to really get that fat rendered. I'm gonna use a bed of Royal Oak Lump Charcoal for my heat. Got a couple tumbleweeds going in there and we're gonna fire those up. After about 20 minutes, that grill is ready to roll. Now I want my vents about an inch and a half, top and bottom. I want it to set about 350 degrees. That's the perfect temperature on a grill to be doing chicken because you want that higher heat to render that fat and that's what's gonna give you that bite through skin. So once that grill's up to temperature, you go ahead and get your grates in place. Now I've got a heat diverter and a rack over on the cool side and then I've just got a straight rack over those hot coals. And that's about a three second hot right there. We're running about 350. Our chicken's been setting while the grill come up. You can see the rubs kind of melted into it. We're ready to get it on the pit. I'm gonna start with these breasts, put them kind of right in the middle. We'll go ahead and put our thighs on and our legs. I'm gonna put the wings on the back because they're the smallest. All of our chicken's spaced out. We're getting good airflow. We got good heat. So we're just gonna close the lid. Got the Primo coming back up. It dropped down a little. It's gonna stop about 350. At this point, we're just cooking chicken, y'all. There ain't nothing to it. I'm gonna put a probe in here in a minute so I can watch the internal temperature on those breasts. But it's probably gonna take about an hour and a half before we get ready to glaze it. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. All right, y'all, we are sitting pretty. Primo locked in at 350. It's been about 20 minutes. That's when I wanna start watching the internal temperature. This is looking good. It's slow cooking. Starting to render some fat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my probe, I'm gonna run it off in this breast about halfway in. I don't wanna get on the bone. We're looking about what I thought, 94, 95 degrees. I'm gonna ease that lid down on that wire and just let it sit there. That way when it gets to about 155, I wanna start glazing it. Now these smaller pieces are gonna be done before that. So I'm gonna come back and check them about 20 minutes, but just keep that lid closed and let your smoker work for you. But barbecue chicken's a thing I love, y'all. You just kinda feel how it's cooking gauge it. You can take it off if you need to. You can put it over on the hot side and get that skin right at the end. It ain't really no technique. It's just a labor of love. So it's been a total of 40 minutes now. We're still sitting at 350. We're going to come up to 130 internal on that big chicken breast. 
So let's, pit, let's take a peek at everything and see how we're doing. I don't like to open it a whole lot, but man, we're getting some color going. Looking beautiful, looking beautiful. I know it's hot, but oh yeah, underneath looking good. Since I want some really, really good barbecue chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and start glazing it while it's on the cool side. Let me go whip up some glaze real fast. My barbecue glaze is simple. It's just a combination of two sauces and a little hot sauce. Use whatever kind of sauce you like on chicken. If you wanna get out there with it, go ahead and get out there. But I like the little tangy element the vinegar gives, the sweetness of the regular barbecue sauce. And I like my chicken a little spicy, so I'm gonna add some hot sauce too. If I had to guess, it's probably about a cup of each sauce. And I'm just gonna eyeball the heat on the hot sauce. But it'll thin it down a little bit. It's got a lot of vinegar in it. So just give it some dashes. I don't measure. Stir it up, I'm not heating it up. Now if you put it over the fire, it can burn on you, so you just know that. But we're gonna put it on that kind of cool zone side, let it start tacking on. This is gonna be extra glazed barbecue chicken. Sticky, sweet, tangy with a little heat. So back over here at the Primo, we're still rocking along 134 on that breast. I'm not gonna start glazing the breast yet, but these smaller pieces are ready for it. So we're just gonna give it a little barbecue sauce action, just dabbing it. If I get in front of the camera, excuse me. The tips of my wings are getting a little dark. I'm gonna back them over that diverter a little bit. Go ahead and get some on that leg. It might not hurt to put it on the breast, I don't know. But these smaller pieces of chicken, they're ready for it. They look so good. Love barbecue chicken. I didn't use much sauce at all, so shut that lid. We're just gonna let it glaze. Still sitting at 350, I'm not doing anything to the dials, anything to the heat. We're just letting it cook and letting it caramelize on. All right, another 10 minutes. I wanna check on that glaze because I don't want it to burn, but look at that, man. That's got some look to it. It's looking like barbecue chicken now, but I didn't, if y'all noticed while I go, I didn't glaze the backside. So we gotta turn these dudes over. I gotta get some sauce on them. But I wait to do it so that sauce kinda sets and my chicken has that good shape to it. About 148 on the breast, which is right where they need to be. We're just gonna give this backside a little glaze. I like to hit these pieces. I'm gonna go get me a thermal pin after this 10 minutes and check the internal temperature on these smaller pieces. I might need to get them over some hot coals just to crisp that skin up a little bit because that's barbecue chicken to me when the skin is right. I want to be able to eat it too, not just the chicken, but it smells fantastic. I mean, you don't have meat dripping on coals yet, but we're about to. That's really going to amp it up. Close that lid. Give me 10 more minutes. That'll be one full hour. All right, y'all, that breast has done hit 155 internal. We're at that hour mark. Our chicken is looking so good. I gotta get this over here and start searing. Look at that when I flipped it over, what it looks like. It's beautiful, beautiful chicken. We ain't through though, because we gotta get it on the hot side and really get some color on it. So I'm gonna take these and we're just gonna set them over here, get some sizzle, sizzle. Go ahead now, go ahead. But what I like to do is go ahead and double glaze them. Let's give them some more sauce over here over the heat. What's gonna happen, those hot coals can burn pretty quick. So I'm talking like you just need a minute on each side. Keep kind of flipping it. Don't walk away when you're doing this part. All of a sudden, we're grilling chicken now after we done smoked it. But this makes it extra sticky, extra saucy, and really, really good. Once I get a little sauce on that side, we can go ahead and flip it over. Try not to pull your skin off if you can help it. But right, let's just roll it, how about that? We got some flame starting to shoot up because we got some more air in the Primo. Been about a minute. We go ahead and hit these breasts up while we're here. Go ahead and start them into action. Can't leave them out. They need some sauce too. Let's flip these back over. Ooh yeah, caramelize, caramelize. Look at that. That looks like barbecue chicken, y'all. I don't know what kind of barbecue chicken you eat, but this is what it's really all about. Hit them again. Oh yeah. Now after I get them seared good, we got all the color I need on them. It's time to move them off back over to the cool side. All right, let's go to our breast. So I'm just gonna take it over here and put it right down. Let's get some sauce on this back side. Can't just have one-sided sauced meat. Can't go too long. Let that back side caramelize. So we brought this barbecue chicken up slow on the indirect side. When it got up to about 155 in the breast, that's when I moved them over. Started searing that sauce on. That's true barbecue chicken right there. Slow, render the fat, get the skin right, get it crispy over here, over the hot grill, well, as crispy as you can get it, but it's gonna be bite through, it's gonna be tender, and it's gonna be mouth-watering good. Where we at? 150, still a ways to go. That one's getting closer, 157. 
So if these smaller pieces get up higher tenth, that's okay. That dart meat, I can take it up to 180, 185. The wings, they're good at 195. They're gonna be tender and jump off the bone. So the internal temperature isn't as important on them, but the breast will dry out. You don't wanna take them past 165, and really 160 is my target. I'm gonna let them carry over. So after I seared everything, got that glaze going on the outside, caramelized down, I still want it to go about 10 more minutes. So I'm gonna shut the lid, let this temp die down a little bit. I got a raging fire here, and I want this chicken just to carry over right here on the grill, get real sticky. Still rocking 350 degrees. We've been about an hour and 10 minutes total, y'all. Now look at this barbecue chicken. It don't get no easier. Where are we at on the breast? That's the ones I'm really worried about. Look at that, 160, yep, that's done, hold on. Now this is one hour, 20 minutes, and I bet these wings are where I want them. <laughs> oh yeah, 185. Thighs about 180. Legs about 185. Man, this chicken's done, y'all. This chicken's done. Now everybody would say, oh, you overcooked that chicken. I'm telling you, the skin's better. It's still gonna be juicy because we brined it. And I took it up to about 185. That's 10 degrees over where most folks would go. But that's why I win chicken checks too. Because it's juicy and it's tender and my skin is gonna be delicious. That ain't an eight piece snack, I don't know what it is. Let's let it rest a few minutes and then I'm eating chicken. That's some old school barbecue chicken right there. I ain't mad at any piece of it. I mean, a big old breast, look succulent laying on the board. We got these legs, we got the thighs, we got the wings. I know which one I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this thigh. It saved my name, but look at that. Now that's how a chicken thigh is supposed to look. It ain't shaped funny, it's just natural. Y'all think it's tender? Let's find out. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Steaming. Juicy. Mmm. That's how you barbecue chicken, y'all. Mmm. Skin is bite through. It's messy like it's supposed to be. I gotta do a little housekeeping. Y'all gotta bear with me. I'm getting some heat level from it. I'm getting some spice. The meat on the inside, I can pick up all that brine. That's what's keeping it juicy. Look at that. Look at all that juice inside that chicken. That's flavor. I probably won't let it cook cool off just a little bit. That'd be pretty smart. And y'all, that's it for today. I'm telling you, if you wanna make some good old school barbecue chicken, this recipe is easy. So at the end of the day, we're just cooking some barbecue chicken, y'all. Use whatever flavors you like. If you got a favorite rub, if you got a favorite sauce, by all means, put that secret family recipe to it. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us here at How to Barbecue Right. If y'all like what we're doing, just subscribe to the channel. You can find us on all the social media platforms at How to Barbecue Right. And Shell and I will be talking about this barbecue chicken recipe, all the other delicious stuff we're doing on our weekly podcast. So y'all tune into that too. We'll see you next time. I'm finna finish this thigh and go for piece two. Mm. I might have should have cooked a 12 piece.